Hey guys, it's me, Jam Moon, your friendly ghost, and I'm finally back at it again with another reaction video today. It's been so long. I'm guarantee you I've been away for at least two, three and a half months already. If you guys don't know what I do, I'm in an active rock slash metal band. My band's called It Kills You. And we have a small tour right now, and we are playing out of state and playing back in the city. And we're working on new material at the end of this month and then we shoot out to Houston, Texas uh, the end of this month on the 27th. So if you guys don't know who we are, check us out. I'll leave a link in my bio, but it's not what you're here for today. You're here for a brand new reaction from your friendly ghost, Jam Moon. I am late to the party. Yeah, uh, apparently Spirit Box, I'm late to the whole Spirit Box family and music. The last thing I remember listening to from them was their new album that they dropped called Eternal Blue. Uh, I liked um, Circle With Me, Secret Garden. Secret Garden is probably my favorite one, uh, but Spotify is thinks I'm lying because from like two years ago or a year ago, Circle With Me was like my number one song on repeat. So that one's kind of a banger too, but I'm rambling. Today I'm going to be reacting to a single from like so long ago called Rotoscope. Uh, I've been hearing teasers and stuff, but I just haven't had the time to react because I'm in a band, so I'm trying to balance it out. So you guys bear with me. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited to finally see me back at it. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get into this song, Rotoscope by Spirit Box. Let's go guys. All right, here we go, Spirit Box. One of their new singles, and I know they have a couple more singles out too that I'm going to be reacting to. But anyways, here we go. Three, two, one, rotoscope. I bet you it was so fun creating this music video. Courtney has a really good uh, mindset when she's writing. The visuals in this music video are amazing. She has a very unique voice too. Like no one can compete with her, especially with her screams. Just getting heavier and heavier. Of course. Man, this is a vibe. And she's getting it too. She's all dancing and everything, man. Her outfit is stunning. Oh yeah, definitely going on the playlist. This is very catchy. It reminds me of the '90s. Um, Band called Garbage. I hear it. I mean, for many people who don't know that 90s band, there's a little similarity. There's not much, but there's a little. Yeah. They're fucking screams, man, I swear. 
It sucks that they dropped out of that falling in reverse four. I'm kind of pissed about it, but everyone else has their own opinion. I don't think it matters what genre they were playing with at the time. I feel like they screwed themselves out of all that opportunity to push themselves out to other audiences. But that's just my opinion. You may have your own opinion, but I think it's pretty crappy that they did that. I will support them, but I don't like the fact that they made that decision. Because I was really hoping to see them come through, but now they're no longer doing it. Awesome. All right. Well, there you have it. Rotoscope by Spirit Box. And I, that came out, I want to say, dang, 10 months ago. I am that late to the party. But anyways, yeah, this song was a vibe. This song was a vibe. It had very nostalgic aesthetic in the um, instrumentals, very... 90s new metal um instruments were freaking amazing the guitar player was phenomenal uh i don't know what tuning they were in it sounded like they were in g or f i could be completely wrong um the atmosphere of the song when it kicks in it was just it i was sold i was already into it her voice is amazing I love the lyrics to the song. I, I was reading the lyrics up, uh, up and down. I have a another screen right here that I'm looking at. So lyrics were really cool. Um, drummer doing a phenomenal job. I like how he was coming in with the single shots. That that was cool. Her screams were amazing, especially how it kind of like built up into I think the pre bridge or whatever. I don't know what you call it, but the first time she starts screaming in the song. That was really cool. It got very intense and all the uh, guitars dropped tuning and got heavier. That was pretty cool too. Other than that, I really don't have much to say. It was a straightforward song. It was, uh, I want to, I don't want to say it was basic, but it was groovy. It was very groovy. It was not basic. It, basic. It, 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 oh my God, I'm getting tongue twisted over here. Fuck. <laughs> Anyways, it was, it was very enjoyable. I liked it. I'm definitely adding that to my Spotify playlists, very catchy, very groovy, groove metal, new metal, 90s, and I grew up through all that, so that's why I probably enjoy it more. She has an amazing voice. Music video was fucking amazing, too. I like a lot of green screen, um, but yeah, I'll probably give this one maybe an 8 out of 10, mainly because of for nostalgic reasons. But yeah, if you guys like this reaction video, hit that like button down there. Also hit that subscribe button. I'll let you know when my videos are uploaded to YouTube. And with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a wonderful month. I, I love all of you. Thank you guys for sticking around with me for the past three years. I love you all. Most importantly, stay metal, rock on, peace out. I'll see you in the next reaction video or cover. I have more coming, so just stay tuned. Bye, guys.